Hi, my name is Doug and I run the customer experience for American Medical, the oxygen concentrator store. Your Respironic Simply Go is your lifeline to the world. It's how you keep active and breathing comfortably every day of your life. It's important to understand how to properly maintain your Respironic Simply Go. So we want to give you a few tips and tricks on how to take care and perform basic maintenance of your Respironic Simply Go. Portable oxygen concentrators, just like any machine with moving parts, require regular maintenance. If you perform regular maintenance on your machine, you'll keep it running at its most effective. To start, there's a few basic steps to maintaining your Respironic Simply Go. On a weekly basis, you're going to want to make sure that your Respironic Simply Go is kept clean, the exterior of the unit as well as the air intakes. The first step for this is to take the unit out of its carrying case. So you simply unstrap it at the top on the handle, pull that aside, and then you're able to pull your Simply Go out of its carrying case. Once you've removed your Respironic Simply Go from the carrying case, you'll have access to all the parts of the concentrator that you'll need to clean. You'll want to make sure that the exterior of the concentrator is free of dirt and debris, especially on the air intake. Your oxygen concentrator pulls ambient air in from the outside world and filters it into medical grade oxygen. If your vents and your air intakes have dirt and debris, they're gonna diminish the oxygen concentrator's ability to provide you the medical grade oxygen that you need. So cleaning the outside of your Simply Go seems like it might be a very basic step, but it's one of the most important in order to ensure that your Simply Go runs at its most effective. In order to keep your Respironic Simply Go clean, you'll want to just wipe down the outside of it with a damp cloth. You can even use a slightly damp paper towel. You really don't need to have it very wet at all, just wet enough to pick up the dirt and debris. Sometimes, as you'll see, you can take a dry paper towel and it's not going to get all of the dirt and debris off. Once you have a wet one, it'll actually pick up and adhere to all of that dust and debris and pull it off. So again, slightly damp. Don't have it dripping water when you squeeze it. Only have it wet enough that it will pick up all of the dirt and debris from the outside of the unit. This next one might seem pretty basic as well, but it's just as important. You'll want to handle your Respironic Simply Go with care. Try not to bump it into doorways as you're rolling the cart through the door. Try not to drop it. Always make sure that you're setting it down lightly and carefully and gently. A really good trick that I heard once is Treat your portable oxygen concentrator as if it's a small pet. You're not going to hit your small pet on the door jam as you're walking through. You're not going to drop your small pet onto the ground from six or eight inches up in the air. You're not going to leave your small pet out in the rain uncovered. That's another important one is make sure that if you do have to take your concentrator out in the rain, that your Respironic Simply Go is always covered from the elements. If you're someone that only uses your Respironic Simply Go on an occasional basis, you'll want to make sure that the unit is stored properly when it's not in use. So just make sure that it's stored in a cool, dry place. Normally, a closet is one of the better places that you can put it. It's got a door that keeps it shut from the elements, and it prevents more dust and debris from gathering on it. When you do take it out of storage, make sure the first thing you do is step one and wipe down all of the dirt and debris off the unit before you turn it on. Another important basic maintenance step is battery maintenance. If you're charging the battery in the Respironic Simply Go, as soon as it hits a full charge, either remove the battery and leave it plugged into the wall if that's how you're using it, or unplug the unit from the wall and run it on battery power. If you leave the battery in with it plugged into the wall past the time that it's gotten to fully charged, it can accidentally damage the battery in trying to overcharge it. There's also a few important steps that you'll want to make sure that you do on a monthly basis. You'll want to make sure that your Respironic Simply Go runs at least 10 hours a month. This is really important because as we mentioned before, it's a machine with moving parts. And if you're running it for at least 10 hours a month, those moving parts continue to move. They make sure that the lubricant that's inside of the machine gets spread around all the moving parts and that nothing seizes up. It, al it also makes sure that your sieve beds, the filters that filter out the nitrogen from the ambient air and provide you with the medical grade oxygen, that they don't harden up. There's a material inside of those sieve beds called zeolite. 
that filters out the nitrogen from the air. Well, if you don't run this at least 10 hours a month, that zeolite can clump up, making it so that not as much air can get through and not as much nitrogen gets filtered. So really just make sure if you're a seldom user, if you're an occasional user, run this simply go for at least 10 hours a month. If you're someone that only uses your respironic simply go for travel, you're going to want to keep in mind that these machines operate at their peak performance when they operate on a regular basis. So if you've got it stored and you know you're going to have to go on a trip, make sure that you pull this out, run some maintenance procedures, and run the unit and test everything that you possibly can at least two months before your trip. This will give you enough time that if you do find something that needs maintenance or repair, you can get in touch with us and we'll be happy to help facilitate that repair in time for your trip. You're going to want to make sure that you change your cannula once every month. This sounds incredibly basic, but it really is important. Your cannula might not be part of your respironic Simply Go, but it's a part of the system that provides you your uh, medical grade oxygen on a daily basis. So making sure that that cannula is clean and free of debris on the inside is going to ensure that your respironic Simply Go, when properly maintained, is able to provide you with the level of oxygen that you need. If you think of the cannula and the respironic Simply Go as an entire system, you're keeping that system running at peak performance by changing your cannula out at least once a month. If you want to do it every two weeks, go for it. That's up to you, but you should do it at least once a month. An important monthly maintenance step is to make sure that your Respironic Simply Go can run on all of its power sources. That'll include at least once a month running your power on AC only without the battery in the unit. I'd say you can run it for at least two hours just to make sure that it works and you're not going to have any problems with your AC charger. I'd run it for at least two hours a month on the DC charger only without the battery in it. You'll also want to make sure that you run your Respironic Simply Go on battery power only at least two hours a month. Put your battery in and make sure that you do not have the Simply Go plugged into either the AC or DC charger. This way you can make sure that the battery is working and if you have multiple batteries you should perform this once a month at least two hours on each of your batteries. If you have multiple batteries you want to make sure that you use all of your batteries in your Respironic Simply Go on a regular basis to ensure they're all getting the proper cycling. So that what that means is if you, you normally run battery A but you've got a backup battery B and a backup battery C, I would say for the first week of the month only run your Respironic Simply Go on battery A, then put that back in your storage and only run it on battery B, and then for the third week of the month only run it on battery C. As long as you're performing a cycle on your batteries, you're making sure that each battery gets run the same amount and you're not putting all of the runtime on this battery while these batteries sit unused for months at a time. It's not good for the battery to sit unused for months at a time, much like it's not good for the Simply Go to sit unused for months at a time. Make sure that you're using everything regularly. So these are some basic maintenance steps that you can do on your own in your home to ensure that your Respironic Simply Go runs at its peak performance. Sometimes you'll encounter something where you need a little bit of extra help, and that's when you'll want to call American Medical's customer service team. So when should you call American Medical's customer service team? Usually any time that the concentrator is giving you an alarm, you'll want to call us so that we can have that logged and make sure that we're helping you troubleshoot it. We won't always need to bring it in for repair when you hear an alarm, but it's worthwhile to give us a call and make sure that we know that it's alarming and that we've helped you troubleshoot it and make sure that it's working properly. If your Respironic Simply Go does give you an error alarm, you can consult your manual, either the paper one that you received in the box, or you can go online to our support page and find all of the manuals, and you can see in the troubleshooting guide what that specific alarm that it's giving you is. That way, when you call into our customer support team, we'll have a much better idea of what's going on with your Respironic Simply Go, which means we'll be able to provide you with a solution much faster. A pulse oximeter is a valuable tool that every oxygen user should have. It also helps us when you call in to diagnose and troubleshoot, because if you've got your pulse oximeter on and you're connected to your Respironic Simply Go, we can help try and diagnose what the alarm might mean and what is happening with your oxygen levels and how they relate to each other.
Remember that oxygen concentrators require ambient air to filter out and provide medical grade oxygen and function at their peak performance. So if you're using your Respironics Simply Go for an extended period of time in an environment that's really dusty or has a lot of smoke, it's going to do some damage to your Respironics Simply Go. So just try and make sure that you limit the amount of time that it's in an area that would have harmful pollutants that might cause your Respironics Simply Go to function at less than peak performance. If you believe your Respironics Simply Go is not functioning properly, please give our customer service team a call at the number below. Thanks for everything. I hope that this information was helpful. And again, if you need anything else, reach out to us. Thanks for tuning in.